Hey, what's up, guys? Mario back again with our YouTube video. Today's video, I am going to talk about AMC. Now, AMC has, for whatever reason, does not want to die. I actually was at the point where I thought that it was game over for AMC. But here comes the Bulls. They push the stock up. And that is it. That's history. Now, what I'm going to go over is the chart, my thoughts on the technical analysis. One thing I want to quickly mention, I did notice that AMC for the first time ever did trade with the market today. Uh, so I want to kind of bring uh, that to attention because the market is getting a little volatile. Uh, and if, the, if AMC is trading with the market, if there is a market sell-off, AMC may come with it. But again, it's all definitely uh, just uh, some thoughts that I'm thinking about. But I'm going to go over some, some of the, the technical stuff uh, more in detail than the uh, float short flow, things like that. Uh, so you guys can kind of take a look at it. Also the chart analysis, support levels, resistance levels. Uh, so you guys can have a better feel of AMC stock. Now, as a reminder, guys, I am not a financial advisor. All videos are for learning and entertainment purposes only. Now, if you have any questions, hey, don't forget to ask down below in YouTube comments and don't forget to smash that like button that does support uh, this channel and please subscribe to this channel down below. I do post videos every single week talking about the stocks are in motion. So, hey, let me share my screen, guys. So, let's get started. Okay. So, what I'm going to do really quickly, guys, I am going to share my screen. Uh, just kind of give you a quick overall technical analysis on AMC. Uh, now, as you guys can see, it started to kind of roll over here, um, you know, on, 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 on July 6th. And we had this gap down sell off. And today we had another big gap down straight to the, the 40 level support. Uh, and we had this kind of low right here, these lows right here. And it, it held really, really nicely. But one other thing that I want to mention, this gap down actually coincided with the whole market gap down as well. Uh, the market did experience a pretty big gap down as well. And, and, and also a bounce as well, really nicely. So I kind of want to bring that to the attention because if there's more market volatility, um, it may affect, it may or may not affect AMC, but I want to just bring that up for, for you guys who are looking at AMC or either investing or day trading, whatever the case may be, is it definitely take a look at the market because this is the first time that I noticed that AMC has traded with the market. Uh, so you can, you can see in the intraday level, intraday chart, AMC had a gap down and then a reverse and had a strong open. So right now we did have some decent amount of volume uh, in terms of this bounce here, 40. Uh, so tomorrow we're going to see that's going to continue and we're going to continue to, to, to uh, bounce off these levels and continue the trend maybe for a day two bounce, similar to kind of this day here on uh, June 14. So here we had a, a, a bounce uh, here uh, from the, uh, from the forties and we had a green day and then we had a, another green day. So may that, that may happen tomorrow. So we're going to see that we're going to see that continues. Uh, now, the other thing you want to keep in mind is the market. Now the market may bounce or may sell off. So there's some volatility on, uh, uh, regarding uh, bond raise, inflation, all that kind of stuff in the market. So we're gonna see if the market continues to trend or we get another sell-off. So, so far, uh, I definitely don't see, um, we see a little pullback in the after hours, but uh, I think what's gonna have, what really gonna matter is tomorrow, how the market reacts tomorrow. And, and if that may, uh, again, uh, affect uh, AMC. So AMC again, we're going to see if this trend is going to continue. Now, one thing that I want to mention in terms of uh, technical analysis and, uh, and more in depth in terms of the numbers, I want to mention the float. Now, we have 448 million float. So it is a pretty large float, uh, but we have an 18.97% short float. That means there are institutions shorting it right now. Uh, but the short ratio is I mean, it pretty much this means there's pretty much enough volume traded every single day. Uh, to really for a lot of these shorts to get out. And as you can see there, we have a, a, an average, we have 157 million shares volume traded every single day on average. Uh, so even though the, the uh, short float is 18.97%, uh, if short sellers feel like they need to cover, they could pretty much cover in a day. Uh, so the volume is very, very, very important. So once we see large amount of volume, uh, again, uh, maybe especially in, in terms of the, uh, let me see, uh, like, like for example, in this day, we had a 766 million share volume. That means of uh, actually the, the whole float rotated ones. Um, that's really what's going to, you know, make the, the difference, you know? So once we start seeing some huge volume, 
you know, in these levels, you know, above 400 million, which is the whole float, then we could start seeing some big moves. So, so far the volume is pretty much, for example, stayed uh, 145, which is again, um, you know, actually if you do the math, you know, in terms of, so there's a uh, right now 440, actually, uh, let's see. So today it traded, here it is. Today the volume traded was 143 million. So 143 and there's 448 million uh, float in terms of total amounts of flow. So right now the volume is 30% of the flow traded today. So if 100% of the flow trades, or meaning 400 million or more shares, then we could definitely get a squeeze out, like a really, really big squeeze about 60. Uh, so we definitely want to see the volume hit these levels right here, uh, hit around 400 million shares in a day. And that's what we're going to really see some really, really big moves. Uh, so we're going to, again, we're going to have to wait and see. I, I did, at this point, guys, I have no idea what uh, AMC is going to do. A lot of short sellers have been wrong. A lot of longs have been wrong as well. I, I actually was, I actually stopped out of my position. I was actually looking for, um, for this, this narrow consolidation to break above 61 and it didn't. And I got stopped out below 50. So, uh, you know, I took up the loss, uh, but this 40 area hell and it bounced off. So this might be the area. I don't really don't know guys. So I just want you to guys to be cautious, to keep these levels. I mean, if 40, if for whatever reason, prices uh, turn around and 40 breaks, I think we could definitely see more downside and maybe close this little gap right here. There is a little gap right here. Uh, meaning there's not a lot of resistance or support area. So this thing could fill. And so that, I mean, I could really see maybe prices if breaks, 40 breaks, like they could probably possibly go down to 30, uh, maybe 32, 30, 30. So that's definitely a possibility. So definitely keep that in mind, guys, because uh, there's a float, there's a there's a gap, meaning there's not a lot of support when these big gaps. So uh, definitely want you guys to keep that in mind. So that's pretty much it, guys. That's pretty much all I wanted to share. Just my thoughts. Again, I'm not a financial advisor. All these videos are for entertainment and learning purposes. I have no idea what's going to happen with AMC. It's very, very unpredictable, guys. Uh, when you think it's going to go, it doesn't, and it pulls back. And when you think it's going to, it's over, it actually holds up and it pushes up. So, and again, recently I did notice that AMC has been uh, trading with the market. So keep an eye on the market, guys, because there's an increased volatility in the market. Hey, that may affect AMC. So keep that in eye, guys. Uh, so, hey, let me know if you have any questions down below YouTube comments. Again, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe down below to YouTube channel. You guys will hear from me soon. Take care, guys.